Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis Sunday morning and here we are with the Bitcoin charts. So we've got a blank chart here in front of you right now. And uh, this is what I always like to say, like a, a blank chart, it doesn't really mean anything to us. If you just look at this, you can, you know, you kind of might struggle to find a trade and it's not until you add on your analysis that you obviously get the trade. OK, so where we came up to last night was a pretty simple one in the end. Obviously, we had that CCV target yesterday, which I know many people were aware of. And uh, obviously, yeah, in the end, we come up, we hit that CCV target and we've had a bit of a drop. So if we add on our analysis, you can see kind of the confluence that you had here. So when you were trading yesterday, you well, if you knew this app, you had the CCV target above you, and just above that, we obviously have our CC, and I will just show you that very briefly. That's obviously our fib pull from that high down to this low. You can see that you come right into the CC for the rejection, and obviously the pullback. Okay, and where have we pulled back to? We've pulled back right back to that point of control. So that has already given us from just adding on three technical tools, you know, able to first of all predict that it's more likely than not, no that we're going to be heading up for the CCV target, e.g. look for longs. Then it's gone into giving us a region to look for the shorts, okay? And I would say that's anywhere between that CCV target to the CC, okay? You can obviously also see within that CC that you had this old support, 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 flipped into resistance. And we've obviously pulled back here, and surprise, surprise, once again, where we pull back to a very technical level right onto the point of control. So that's given us three high, you know, in my opinion, pretty major highs and lows during the past, you know, 24 hours here. So when we when we're looking at this, I think we can zoom out slightly. Okay, well we can zoom out slightly. Well, I mean, what's everybody kind of looking at now? I think a lot of people have their eyes on this type of falling wedge pattern, which obviously is considered a bullish pattern. A lot of people are looking at this right now. Okay, doesn't mean it's correct, but this is what a lot of people are looking at. Uh, so obviously, this is a bullish pattern where you're making these lower highs and lower lows, but you kind of contract and you contract and you contract. And generally speaking, generally, blah, 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 blah. generally speaking, uh, people are going to be looking for this type of move to the upside. No, uh, a nice, you know, could class it as a short squeeze. And overall, this would fit the frame of continuing the range. Okay, so it's kind of this falling wedge hitting into the bottom of the range and you know it could just rotate to the higher the range at the end of the day of course this is definitely possible i think there's a few things though before you start getting too excited thinking to yourself oh my god yes we've got a falling wedge this is really bullish of course there's a lot of steps that you have to get through before it kind of you know activates so to speak of course you've got to get through well all of, the, all of the volume levels within this, all of the Fibonacci levels within this, but obviously the biggest one you could say is just simply breaking the trend line. If you do break the trend line, that would obviously see you breaking more or less $33,000, uh, depending on the time taken. So you can say fairly fairly simply, I want to say about $33,500. It's a level we've been aware of for quite a long time. So if you break $33,500, then yes, you could see this, you know, potentially then run more to the upside, no? Uh, again, we're not just going to say, oh, we break $33,500, we're going to $40,000. That would be a little bit, uh, I mean, you could trade it like that if you want to, but I, I would prefer to say, okay, we've broken $33,500, let's trade it to the next level of resistance, which I mean, if we just pull a simple fib from here to here, that would be giving us around, you know, 34, let's say 34000 500 so EG, another $1,000 above you, really to around that $35,000. Okay, so you got about 33,500, then you'd be looking for around a CC there, and you'd be looking for around 35K. Of course, if you start breaking 35K, then it's very likely you're going to head up towards the highs, and then you can look up to the, the range high again. Uh, so yeah, do you, do, do you have the potential of a rotation of the full range to the high? Of course you do. Uh, just as you have the potential of falling down from here. And this is the thing in trading, everything is possible. You have to be prepared for further downside, just like you have to be prepared for further upside. If you are only looking bullish and only looking for longs, you're going to get wrecked if and when it drops. And if you're only looking for shorts and you're only expecting downside, you're going to get wrecked if and when it rises. So, you know, e.g. have a plan for if we break out of this bullishly and have a plan for if we break down from here bearishly and that's the only way that you can succeed because i think a lot of people are always like 
hey, just tell us what, just tell us where price is going next. Just tell us what's going to happen next. Like people think that there's this certainty in the market, but that's obviously not true. You have to be prepared for both sides of the market. You have to be aware and knowing your levels to the upside, aware and knowing your levels to the downside. And then you just trade at those levels. So you know the levels that you want to trade. And then you do not trade until those levels are hit. Okay, so if we break up, we know what we're doing. If we break down, we know what we're doing. But we're not saying where price is going next because that's that's irrelevant to us. It's actually irrelevant where price goes next. It's only relevant to us, the levels that we're trading from next. Okay, so it's just like when you have a CCV set up, like you're, you're expecting higher and then you know where you want to trade next, okay? So yeah, that, that's like kind of the medium term foot time frame pattern that you have here, a bit of a falling wedge, considered a bullish pattern, of course, that that. I would never view it 100% sort of, oh, it has to be breaking up bullishly here. And one thing that I'll bring you to, to your attention, ladies and gentlemen, because I think you're going to be hearing this all over the place. And that is, um, where was it? <laughs> yes, it was this. Grayscale, so I hope you can read this. Grayscale unlock is today in the USA. Okay, I think people will be trading from it mode primarily tomorrow. JP Morgan suggests it's, it will be bearish. FTX suggests it will be bullish. And Kraken suggests it will have no impact at all. And do you want to know my, my suggestion? This guy actually got it absolutely spot on. Daniel's suggestion is to not give a damn about it. And that is honestly, ladies and gentlemen, if you do one thing good today, it is this. If people start talking about the grayscale unlocks, just, just it's, it literally should be your first focus should be who cares like just literally who cares about the grayscale unlock it's such an irrelevant topic um because at the end of the day it's, it's all in the charts like i've shown you this morning with three three technical levels it's it's all in the charts so whether grayscale it's like even here you you see people you know jp morgan ftx crack they're all giving different opinions so at the end of the day it's totally just nonsensical to pay attention to this and it's literally a narrative if if bitcoin breaks up then guess what um ftx will be like hey we got it right if if it, if it breaks down jp morgan will be like hey look we got it right and if it goes sideways crack will be like hey we got it right but at the end of the day all we want to know is the levels to trade so i think you know, my number one tip from today's video is really because you're going to see it everywhere. You're going to see it absolutely everywhere. People speculating about this grayscale unlock. And my honest, you know, tip would be pay no attention to it. It literally does not matter in the slightest. Why? Because we're only trading the charts. Everything is in the charts. OK, so yeah, I think it's just really important over the next, you know, 48 hours to just have your plan ready because otherwise you're going to get shaken out of moves you're going to miss the trades so I, I just feel that that's like really you know i just truly feel that's really important uh and you know and i think a lot of people if they don't get reminded they forget about it so now you've had the reminder in this video there's no 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 uh, no reason to forget it i hope, would hope so anyway in terms of support to the downside of course that big thirty thousand dollars <laughs> unable to be breached so that's obviously a massive support and i know a lot of people are basing longs right now off of 30k you know longing here for example stop loss below thirty thousand dollars that's what a lot of people are uh seemingly doing right now you know longing you know you, I, I kind of understand i suppose if you're going for the long here stop loss below thirty thousand dollars if you're aiming for forty thousand dollars i mean in terms of risk to reward what is it's giving you a fairly decent one you know stop loss below 30k aiming for around that 40k i mean look you got a nearly five to one risk to reward ratio risking six percent for a potential 30 percent you know trading off in this falling way so I, I totally understand how and why people are going for the setup that that they are okay uh we'll have to see how it plays but that's that's the one that i know a lot of people are, are based off of right now but um yeah that's that's just a really quick video sunday morning less than 10 minutes that's perfect um i just wanted to bring to attention bring to your attention the great scale that's happening tomorrow why you should not care about it why you should trade the charts and um well if you trade the charts you should be pretty happy because i mean it's it's been time and time and time and time and time again now that the exact same correlation is happening. I mean, even in these type of, even in this downwards trend here, it's continuously the same like movements. You see your first area of consolidation, breakdown, retesting the area of consolidation, yeah? Breakdown, retesting an area of consolidation. Breakdown, here, yeah? you retest the area of consolidation. Breakdown, so if you retest this area of consolidation, it brings you to 33K. So it's it's like this. these same patterns are repeated again and again and again and again and again. And that is what kind of technical analysis is, no? It's kind of a form of viewing 
patterns that have happened in the past and how you expect them to repeat. But obviously, it's not only, you know, you, you all know by now, I think. I'm not really a pattern trader, so I would prefer to be down here on the lower term time frames, really, uh, you know, looking at the order flow as it comes in, because this is the thing that you cannot be beaten and this is the thing that is just card hold statistics like you cannot deny the volume that's coming in here you cannot deny when you get trapped traders you you know so this this is in my opinion like the next level of trading because y you know you cannot fake this data this is hard cold data that's coming in whereas a pattern you know you see these patterns and they fake out all the time whereas if you know how to read the volume then you know you, sh you shouldn't be getting faked out left right and center so you know Anyway, I digress because I don't want to keep this video too long. It's just meant for a really quick video. So yeah, I would say, yeah, final final thoughts. Obviously, extremely technical region that we have at the moment. CC is currently resistant. We have that point of control as support. Uh, should we break to the downside? Of course, that 30k is massive support level. Uh, should we break to the upside? And obviously, we got that around that next level, I'd say about $33,000. Again, this is a small term time frame intraday look. This is primarily for day traders and scalp traders. Um... What I will end with is saying, obviously, tonight I have the Champions live stream. That's where I'll be going over my medium term swing trading plans. Last week we went over Ethereum. Tonight, I think I'll go over Bitcoin again because it is reaching like the apex and it sh we really should be seeing a break soon. So I'm going to cover in the higher term time frame making sure everybody's ready. And if we have time, then I'll go over Ethereum again. If we have a little bit more time, I think I'll cover some stocks because there's some stocks I would like to cover as well. Um, but yeah, definitely be doing that tonight in the Champions live stream. So if you want to know my longer term time frame plan, that's what I'll be marking out tonight. This has been a shorter term time frame. Hope I've given you some perspective. And um, yeah, <laughs> remember not to give a damn about the grayscale. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. If you've enjoyed, smash the likes, smash that like button as hard as you can. And I hope that you have a brilliant weekend. Of course, ending with the disclaimer here, pause to read this. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. And that's me signing out. Cheers. Goodbye.